okay yes are you comfortable now yeah yeah um, comfortable very very comfortable okay. how are you well, i am very good doing great how about you i'm doing well too thank you for asking okay so please uh, introduce yourself okay i'm um, i am ajita from kerala i'm a teacher and a baker <laughs> and a youtuber too my youtube channel's name is english vocab and mainly focused on new words uh, create sentences uh, its meaning and also sometimes i include uh, phrasal verbs idioms something like that and uh, yeah i'm a two i'm running a tuition center also for students from all classes uh, uh, up section high school even higher secondary my favorite subjects are english science and math i love english i am so much passionate towards english so i started my channel that's it i have two sons grown up sons both are engineers it professional working in info park ernakulam my husband is uh, retired from a private firm and now here uh, me and my husband stay here every week my sons visited all the weekend they visited us yeah so many videos here so many videos here. all videos are amazing and also i know little bit about you but know more about you that's why i <laughs> calling you you are an amazing speaker and also you have to uh, how many uh, uh, children do you have how many children children my daughter is 10 years old and my son is 5 5 years old okay which classes uh, first standard oh first standard the... my son is in ukg he will be coming to ukg from june he'll be starting his ukg and okay. my daughter will be uh, has gotten promoted to fifth standard fifth okay standard. so your husband is also uh, working in the it field or other field your husband no no he is not working in an it field there is a group of institutions so he is working as a campus manager oh so now you currently speaking from uh, chennai right karnataka okay but one video i heard that you are from chennai uh, but you are um, actually from uh, karnataka but currently you are uh, in chennai i heard some video no, is it no, correct for one, for one year i studied i lived in chennai for one year my 10th standard oh yeah 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 That's okay all. but i was born and brought up in this state i am living in this state itself okay okay uh, do you have any siblings I have one elder brother. Okay, what do you what he do? Ah, uh, he does a private job. He's oh, into sales yeah, and yeah. marketing. Okay, how was your uh, weather in Karnataka? In my city, it is very hot. Yeah. Very hot. Here also the same thing, extreme hot, scorching heat. <laughs> it's excruciating through the skin. So so much heat. Yeah, yeah. All we can't tolerate. Ah, we have so much sweat. Okay, sweat. Sweating is so much mm. here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you run this institute at your home, or you have? Ah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, in your, in our, in my home. Yeah, attached to my home. How many students do you have? Ah, uh, in the early days, ah, uh, below forty, forty-five. I am the only teacher take all the subjects. So below, ah, uh, sorry, below fifty, below fifty. how do you have so much patience teach more than 40 yeah it's uh, from the experience i have te- i have been teaching for uh, uh, i think almost 20 years so i get from that experience so yeah <laughs> i connect with a lot of people from kerala also yeah Some people think yeah. that i am also malayali ah yeah, but you look like malayali yeah yeah you look like malayali actually <laughs> i have never been to kerala Yes, I have been to Kerala once. I came to that Bakel Fort. Bakel Fort, Kannur, Kannur, ah no, Kannur. Is it Kannur? Only, yeah, yeah. Kannur, ah uh, okay, okay, ah oh, yeah. But Kerala is very famous for tourism, right? Yeah, yeah, South it's a beautiful India country. Kerala. Yeah, but but nowadays uh, the all the uh, things have changed a lot because the trees are all cut down and everything is the nature all destroyed. So the Beautiful is 
ரிவர்ஸ் but some district you have seen lots of paddy field paddy field okay so it's a, a beautiful place have you been to alapi have you lived in the house boats yeah yeah uh, we uh, kotayam i am from kotayam it's nearest to alapi so nearest to this thing it is my dream yeah it's like fantastic house fantastic house. and it's uh, really enjoying enjoying and uh, uh mind blowing <laughs> mind blowing scenes are there it's a beautiful yeah really enjoy and once you I come vegetarian so yeah. uh, do we have food options yeah lots of vegetarian foods are here available lots of uh we uh, we here we are not making always non vegetarian i am making uh, vegetarian foods like avial sambar you heard it avial sambar yeah, yeah. and so many dishes are here Home dishes, uh, delicious uh, dishes are here. Yeah. Vegetarian. It's yeah. my dream that I want to visit Alapi and live in a house. Yeah, definitely you will come once. Uh, yeah, yeah, welcome, welcome to <laughs> God's own country. <laughs> okay. What is the yeah. best time to visit? I think uh, December, January, December and January. It's the best time to visit. Otherwise, summer is also good, but the uh, heat is. you can't tolerate it yeah that's why but in june the monsoon is uh, started at that time monsoon a rainy season june july august are rainy season so it's not good for but it is very beautiful the raining at that time <laughs> the scenery is are very beautiful but the traveling are very not uh, uh, yeah difficult yeah. so it's uh, good to visit uh, december or january I keep it in mind. Yeah, uh, here lots of mountain ranges, high range areas, high range areas, very beautiful. Yeah, if you uh, like uh, nature, then you definitely visit high range areas. Uh, lots of mountain, oh, uh, dams, rivers, something like that. Every so, currently, uh, in which uh, which place you uh, from? Karnataka, Bangalore. Oh, no 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 i am from raichur raichur is near bangalore no no very far it is very far. Um, mandra border okay uh, nowadays i heard uh, from the newspaper the water is very scarcity of water is experiencing in Bang- uh, karnataka is it correct not in karnataka it's only in bangalore bangalore oh, it's an it city le it's an it Oh yeah. The lakes have dried up and they are finding scarcity of drinking water. Okay, okay. I uh, read it from the newspaper. <laughs> But people who are uh, living in Bangalore, we have to talk to them to confirm because I have also seen it only in the newspapers. Yeah, yeah. But in the early days, Bangalore, Mysore is the very coolest place, right? But nowadays, no, very good. Yeah, yeah. Now this weather is good, but uh, something with the water issue. Uh, you heard about Uti, Uti in Tamil Nadu. It's also a uh, mountain range, right? High range area, but so seems like Bangalore and Mysore, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kodai Canal, all that area. Kodai Canal, Uti, yeah, yeah. So what And? time will be your uh, tuitions timings? Now actually holidays going on. so i take only in the morning time so so all the not uh, available in all the students but uh, they are all in the vacation mood so i started the cbse students because they uh, they have started the classes uh, next month something like that so i started that students only otherwise uh, we have so many syllabus C- cbse kerala icsc so i take all the uh, syllabus or the curriculum i take but but Kerala uh, only started coming June, 
next to june only the classes have started so i put uh, now i take classes only for cbc students they get the test yeah what kind of teacher are you are you strict or are you friendly or chiller yeah, scared uh, of you i am both mixed mixed in the when uh, the uh, sorry uh, sometimes i talk uh, jokes in between the classes because they uh, sometimes they are bored the same yeah so i am <laughs> i am mingling with that students but the in the case of studying i am very strict i give homework uh, and uh, perfect i will uh, shining the stones the each students are the uh, diamonds okay uh, the diamonds are dig under the earth right after that we polish the diamond then the diamond will shine right that the same thing i my my opinion is that the students are all uh, good but we have to shining that diamond so they shining like a star in, a, in their school. okay each uh, uh, in the class they are uh, some students are very shy so sitting in the back back bench and they don't ask any doubts to the teacher because of some shyness uh, so that's why some students are uh, they are getting uh, low marks in the subject right so in the uh, um, uh, on the starting day i will uh, tell that i will uh, tell the students that, tell the students that uh, you if you have any doubt please ask me okay the tuition classes are mainly focused on all the, clear to all the doubts of the students right that is the tuition class and normally they are uh, yeah they get good marks in their schools so my students always get good marks a1 a plus 10th okay i score the my students are score good marks from final exam yeah so you wanted to ask me any question yeah yeah okay <laughs> i just forget the question <laughs> i just want to okay, okay. ask you one question I will ask ah. one last question. Um, ah. Since you have seen so many ages, right? Teenage students. Then you have you are like you know elderly now. Your children are all grown up. So which is the best age to be in in the life? Childhood is the best, or being a teenager is best, or middle age is best, or retired age is best. Childhood, childhood is the childhood best. Childhood is best. Yeah, you enjoy it. You know responsibility. nothing to worry about anything so they are free from everything uh, their mind are very pure also yeah that the uh, that the period is very 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 good period so at that time we really enjoy it but now uh, yeah that the period is very good period. as you grow up you start getting tension uh, and stress uh, yeah. a lots of responsibility if you grow up lots of responsibility tension so we uh, we can't re enjoy the life right the responsibility also one thing is in our childhood or somebody is there always to tell us but when we grow up we become independent we can take our own decisions so that is different kind of enjoyment but in the age of i i am now 52 years old now i think that i'm going to <laughs> uh, that childhood day because uh, yeah that's a very fantastic beautiful period we enjoy real okay you go ahead with your question uh, what's your opinion what's I your feel, opinion? i feel now the middle age is good i feel somewhat because if you have a good family with you and you take your own decisions you yeah, yeah. are telling somebody to do something but in childhood somebody we have pressure from our parents teachers studies different kind of tension at that time <laughs> at this age i feel it is nice we do whatever we want i feel this middle age is good actually i am not expecting your call i am in a uh, house for chores in between in middle of the house for chores and putting so much oil in my head that uh, going to hair wash and at that time your call is <laughs> Yes. so i'm not going to have time my children are uh, having their summer vacations ah, yeah. they yeah. now they became busy so i thought immediately let me talk to you let me see i faces are all oily 
suddenly i put a new cloth and come <laughs> you are looking absolutely fine Nothing okay wrong. okay and uh, how to uh, any pet name you have do you have any pet name what name uh, any uh, shantam yeah shantam uh, how to pronounce that, that name shantam shanta shanta okay okay shanta okay. what's your favorite food my favorite food is home food anything prepared at home i like i don't like spicy food we are vegetarians so any vegetarian uh, home food i like okay what are the foods you uh, really uh, prepare to your children make your children make to your children uh so my daughter eats whatever we eat at home like normal idli dosa rice chapati everything but my son is very different he will not eat any vegetables or fruits so i have to prepare very fixed menu he will eat dosa he will eat chapati he will not eat rice so very limited stuff for him i will prepare separately but yeah. for us at home regular south indian food only we prepare they both are calm or uh, they are rambaxious rambaxious is a new word mean in overactive so you are uh, kids are overactive or calm my daughter is calm my son is overactive very naughty very troublesome okay. <laughs> yeah. my daughter is calm quite very nice calm. then okay last week april 14th we celebrated vishu uh, in karnataka uh, ugadi 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 yeah. the celebration okay you celebrated ugadi this year we did not celebrate because my father in law passed away in december so for one year we will not be celebrating in usually we celebrated so how to celebrate uh, ugadi uh, we usually uh, take a shower we apply oil our hair and we take a oil bath we just put some neem flowers and leaves in the water and we uh, take a shower later if if people want they will wear new clothes so it's up to their choice we do some puja and we eat uh, jaggery and uh, neem leaves a little bit combination of the two because it is like bitter sweet both you have to have so it is the start of a new year new season the mangoes and everything oh, i think it's so a harvest you... season right harvest Sorry? festival harvest yeah. festival yeah yeah it is like a right. new uh, new season for mangoes and if we get the neem flowers also we eat a little bit of it with jaggery and later we prepare a, a what is that called bevu we call it in kannada so it is like a, even andhra people prepare it it's like pachadi type of where you put uh, some nuts grapes a little bit of neem flowers and gram flour and we make a drink so okay. we make that drink and we have that's it only that that's it but here is the celebration is very big here okay. we uh, yeah you were here the previous day of uh, vishu we arranged all the vishukani you, did you heard that did you ever heard that vishukani uh, vishukani means we arranged the things like fresh flowers fruits raw rice and new clothes gold everything arranged in front of lord krishna ideal statue okay eh? and and the uh, early morning of vishu we all get up early and take a bath after that we show this vishukani we believe that we believe that uh, we are showing vishukani you get the all uh, prosperous life throughout the year prosperous life throughout the year that auspicious sign brings you a prosperous year we believe that after that we um, make a big feast in the lunch time big feast and all served on the banana leaf a different types of curries uh, along with the rice then a sweet puppet uh, everything we uh, served on the banana leaf and we we eat all together have it all together and after that uh, we visit some ancestral homes or movie theater or recently some uh, all all people sitting in front of the tv and watching some new movies in netflix on netflix or prime or hotstar yeah then also bursting crackers also the special thing bursting crackers these are the things we do so yes the issue is very Uh, popular festival in Kerala. 
ഫസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഈസ് ഓണം യു ഹേർഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഓണം സെക്കൻഡ് വൺ ഈസ് വിഷു
and whatever yeah. comes you will speak so sometimes yeah. instead of knowing everything you sometimes make mistakes uh, sometimes the sentences are sometimes uh, broken into pieces <laughs> so that's the problem yeah that's that practice make perfect yes since this is your only second conversation you will get better at it day by day so if you uh, get time please call me Please yeah, yeah. give me we'll an, talk again. another opportunity to speak with you. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. I will talk again because now I am very busy because of my children, and okay. uh, we'll definitely talk again. I think uh, they are in vacation mode, right? They have vacation yeah, right months. now. Okay. Yeah. okay. The, the task to handling these children in the vacation time. I am also experiencing, so I know. <laughs> you already went through that phase. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so that's it. Okay, thank you so much for joining at such short notice. So okay. we will talk again someday. And thank okay. you for giving me this opportunity to speak with you. Very, very thank you so much. Okay. Thank you too. Good luck. We'll talk again. Okay. Okay, okay. thank you. Can they my regards to your children? I will. Thank you. About I have seen in the shorts that is yeah, your shirt. Okay. Yeah. So, convey my regards to your daughter and son. Okay. Bye bye.